going on everybody? Today we're going to review something pretty cool. Uh, I've had this helmet for about four months. This is the Fox Drop Frame Pro and it is, it's amazing. That's probably an understatement, but uh, let's talk about some ups and downs. Uh, get right into it. No wasting any time. Shout out to Andrea. This thing's badass. This is a deck of cards. It's a skateboard made out of cards. Anyway, back to the thing. Uh, Drop Frame Pro 2020, got it about four months ago. I uh, was looking for something a little more full coverage and ended up with this guy. I love the way it fits. Uh, I got these little horns. I said that in my first, uh, first impressions video. And uh, this doesn't rub on those horns. And MIPS technology for me has always felt like maybe it sits like a skull cap and I don't really like that, but this eliminated that. Um, it's a sweet helmet. We've got eight big bore vents to bring air in and seven vents for ventilation along the back. And it keeps cool. I've ridden it in about 26 degrees and put some 30K days on it. And it does really well. The one thing I'm a little leery about is the visor. The visor's fixed. And I'm sure in a crash that'll just fly right off there. And it doesn't look like there's any way to replace it. Bit of a downfall there. Um, upside is this antimicrobial uh, padding comes out. They when they you get the helmet from Fox, they send you a bunch of different pads that are interchangeable so you can make it fit exactly to your head, which is which is amazing. Um, it was on a Troy Lee A1 before. And I still have that. It'll be for like longer cross country days, 40K plus sort of days, or even like trails that aren't maybe so aggressive. Um, and on that note, this helmet has been great for uh, boosting confidence. Uh, I've noticed a big, big difference in just feeling more protected. Uh, the visor doesn't get in your view. Uh, I know there's a few people saying that, oh, it's right in their view. Not quite. I wouldn't say that it is. It doesn't obstruct my view at all. Uh, favorite feature though, the Fidlock. The Fidlock is just single-handed, do it up, undo it, it's it's great. And it's like, it's not going anywhere, it's secure. Uh, and MIPS, I went with a helmet that has MIPS because I think that's that should be the baseline for every helmet, even the budget helmets. I think it should all have MIPS in these days. I ride with a few guys that have had a head injury. It's one just recently, just this weekend, or on Tuesday. Uh, fell and hit his head and I'm pretty sure he got a bit of a concussion. So uh, his helmet was just a basic POS foam helmet, like a road helmet, uh, and it just didn't cut it. So I'm very happy that I got this. Um, the helmet's very basic. It looks big, uh, but it's really not. It kind of looks like a hockey helmet. Right. It's simple, if you can get it, I love it. It looks good from the side. It goes with everything. It's a little bit bigger than your average half lid, but that's the point. I love the ear holes. I still get my earbuds in and out of here, no problem. Uh, yeah, it's a sweet lid. I love the colorway. It doesn't get too hot. Uh, it protects you a bit from the rain. You don't overheat, you don't get cold. It's just an all around great lid that I would recommend for somebody who's maybe doing a little bit more aggressive riding, uh, somebody who wants to feel safer on the bike. It's a confidence booster right away. So I'm pretty stoked on that. The Fidlock is amazing. I know I'm bouncing around all over the place, but the Fidlock, you can almost, you can almost get it just by dangling it on itself. Oh, oh, there you go. Anyway. The pads are fully removable and you can throw them in the washer, which I haven't done yet. Smell check and they smell, it still smells brand new. I've probably put a couple hundred K on this lid already and it's, uh, it's great. I think this is an XL or a large. This is a large 56 to 58 centimeter. Uh, it's not too heavy, 505 grams. That's, that's pretty good. They say moisture wicking in the, for the pads, but it, in reality, I mean, you're gonna sweat through anything anyway. It, it doesn't really matter, right? Moisture wicking. Yeah, that's the gist of it. This is a great helmet. I can't wait to put it in the bike park um, and just keep riding on it all year. I think I'll do another one at like, 
I don't know, eight months, a year, we'll see. Uh, I haven't had to test out the MIPS yet. I haven't had the opportunity. And I'm very thankful for that because the last thing I want to do is crash and, uh, and try it out. But I hope that when that time does come, because it's inevitable, that it does its job. Um, one thing I will say is these ear, like when you pull it over your head to put it on, you kind of have to splay the ears out a little bit. And if you look, they kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but they're, they're meant to flex. They feel a little bit flimsy, but they are not. They're definitely, they're on there. You're meant to pull it out over your ears when you put it on and take it off. So. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, it's a basic review. I know it's kind of all over the place, but if you want to know a little bit more, you have more questions about it, leave them in the comments and I'll be glad to answer anything you have. Uh, next up, I think I want to do a review of my Float X. I'm blown away by that thing. It's, uh, it's outperforming any shock, including a coil shock. I know some people are going to go, coil's the way to go. Coil, coil for life. And I agree in certain situations, but uh, this Float X2 is next level. So that'll be another review. For now, it's helmet time. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Check out some of these videos at the end here. I'll link two of them. One's going to be of the Float X2, um, how easy it is to tune for anybody of any mechanical skills, and uh, a riding vid. Go check it out. It's a lot of fun. Peace, guys. Catch you on the next one.